And following on the heels of alcohol consumption, we have holistic healing next on the menu. <laughs> Stephen Cardoza is a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, a licensed acupuncturist and herbalist in Massachusetts and California. He has worked in the alternative health field since 1985 with certifications in massage, cranial safe world work, Wu style Tai Chi, and Qigong. He is a teacher and is on the faculty of Brookline Tai Chi. He was an attending physician for a Stanford University psychology department study, the effectiveness of acupuncture for treating moderate to severe depression in pregnant and postpartum women from 2001 to 2002, and an anatomy instructor at the Massage Institute of New England in 2003. His articles have been published in health and medical journals, and he has been featured on both radio and on TV. He is the author of the books, Chinese Healing Exercises, A Personalized Practice for Health and Longevity, 2013, and his newest book, Chinese Holistic Medicine in Your Daily Life, Combining Acupressure, Herbal Remedies, and Quidong for Integrated Natural Healing, 2017, both published by Lewin Publications. Both have been translated into numerous languages and are distributed internationally. Welcome, Dr. Stephen Cardoza. Well, Suzette covered just about everything I needed to say. <laughs> Make my job easy. Um, I'm going to quickly introduce the first of my two books you mentioned, Chinese Healing Exercises. Um, I wrote this book mainly because there's a lot of people who have come to me wanting to learn something like Tai Chi or Qigong to improve their health and not realize that those systems tend to take a fair amount of time and a fair amount of effort. So I decided I would put together a book of very simple yet very effective self-healing practices that people could learn easily at home. And so that's the purpose of this book. It's really hard to learn Qigong or Tai Chi or to do much self-healing in the realm of Chinese medicine without proper guidance. But this book actually is my best effort at giving you all that you need to be able to work on yourself at home. In the back of the book, there's uh, exercise prescriptions on how to combine each of these exercises to address specific health challenges. But any single exercise in here you can learn in 10 or 15 minutes, and I'll just take you like one or two minutes to practice once you've learned it. And then you combine it in the most helpful way you can. And it does have a companion DVD. For people who want to dig more deeply into the benefits of Chinese medicine, the similarities between Western and Chinese medicine, and how you can apply principles of Chinese medicine for your own self-care and self-healing, my second book, Chinese Holistic Medicine in Your Daily Life, is um, addresses those things. The first half of the book, it's almost like two books in one, this one. The first half of the book gives you a detailed uh, background on all of the, the most important theories in Chinese medicine, including things like what's qi, what, what's yin and yang, what are meridians, what's the Chinese view of pathogenesis or the origins of disease, and how to treat those diseases. The second half of the book gives you the tools that you need to apply those principles on yourself, including acupressure to stand in for acupuncture. There's about 100 acupressure points I teach you in this book. Um, the Qigong exercises that address particular organ systems, again, to target specific health issues. Uh, about 64 common Chinese herbal remedies for a variety of health conditions. And like my first book, uh, the last chapter of the book gives you exercise prescriptions or, or prescriptions to teach you how to combine acupressure, herbal remedies, and Qigong, along with uh, information on dietetics to address any particular health challenge you might want to work on, as well as just to promote general wellness if you're already healthy, and to slow down the aging process and just have more vital years of life. And that's, that's it for these two books. I know what you're thinking. I've got an ailment. I need to talk to him. <laughs> well, he's here today, folks.